Thermolayer TA5000 has a temperature range of minus 80 to plus 225C. Ultimate cold temperatures are achieved by using mechanical refrigeration. No liquid nitrogen, no CO2 required. Here you see the basic setup of the semiconductor IC test application. Here you see all the accessories for the 5000A thermal air system many different size glass caps, rubber shrouds, and silicone foam rubber. Here we, you can see we have clear shrouds and we have different size glass caps. This shroud is too large for that cap, but I have the seven inch ID cap on the head and you see it fits right on. The system has two ways to sense and control temperature. There's a main control sensor, air mode temperature control sensor in the tip of the nozzle. Let's interchange to a smaller glass cap now. That is where the purge gets put into the double pane glass wall to keep it dry. There's another way to control temperature. Here we show an example, just a small little PCB. We'll use the high temp rubber to set up a little simulated test bench area. Here's the DUT, the device under test. Put another piece of high temp silicone rubber on there. This, this rubber could take up to 300 degrees C and acts as an insulator to anything you want to isolate from the temperature. The glass cap comes down over the device and then you can bring the device to hot and cold temperature using the uh, air sensor. There's another mode, it's dust sensor mode where you could actually use an external dust sensor to control the case of a device, a dust, a unit that you want to test at temperature. The head comes down, you select dust mode, you plug in let's say this particular K-type thermal couple into the head and then you're ready to control the air, the case temperature, and the set point.